So back to the Q3 project. I machined almost all the parts, and on the last one, the CNC decided to break. The Y-axis just stopped moving, so I spent an entire week tearing it all apart, trying to get it back up and running. Anyway, once all the machining was done, the tires were next. The rims and molds are 3D printed out of PLA, and I put some Vaseline around the ceiling faces to keep any resin from seeping through, and then just used some hot glue to hold everything in place. Also, don't forget to use mold release. It is not fun without it. I cast them using this urethane rubber that smooth on cells. This stuff has been surprisingly durable and it gives tons of traction. 24 hours later and amazingly, they came right out of the molds. A little cleanup and they were done. Now all the parts are done so I can actually put it together. Everything is pretty straightforward so I'm just going to skip through most of it. Motors and encoders attach to the aluminum plates with their wires facing one of the short edges. The tire just slips over the motor and gets screwed onto it. And then both of those motor modules press into the body and get screwed in from the bottom. The O-Drive gets its mounts screwed on, a whole bunch of wires connected, and then it also gets screwed into the body. The most challenging part is shoving all the wires in place so you can get the top cover on. The connector on the top is for charging, and then the little hole next to it is for turning it on and off. The total weight ended up being a bit under 3.5 pounds. So let's see it drive. The O-Drive has to calibrate on each startup, that's why the motors move slightly when it's turned on. Right now the current limit for the motors is set to 20 amps to try to keep the tires from spinning out as much. The motors can handle up to 70 amps, so there's quite a lot of extra torque available. The top speed should be well above 30 miles per hour, but I have yet to find a space big enough to try actually going that fast. Right now it's driving around on sort of like workout mats, so it doesn't have the most traction, but it's good for testing. As you can see, even with the current limit turned way down, it still has no problem just spinning the tires. I stacked up some weights on it to see how well it would handle, and it did surprisingly well. Here it has 35 pounds on it, and still controls pretty well with the current limit still at 20 amps. I still had to be gentle with it to keep the weights from sliding off. It still had plenty of torque. Well that's it so far. I'd like to eventually take it somewhere much larger so I can actually see how fast it'll go. And maybe make one out of steel instead of PVC to make it even more terrifying. That's all. I'll see you next time.